I have watched the first three episodes of uh, the anime called Dark Clover. Uh, I've been seeing videos about it uh, on YouTube, so I got interested. I got the feeling that the fight scenes might be good in that, and the first episode was um, really exciting towards the end, but then the second and third, um, they dwindled down in excitement, they got lower in excitement for me, but um, they entered the slowly moving story mode, uh, which I don't mind. Since it's a still running anime, I think it approaches almost 100 episodes now. And I think it's not ending very soon, uh, if, if this is the pace it is choosing. In other words, um, it's like a One Piece or Naruto Boruto type of anime. I don't know if the manga is ongoing or not, if it is based on the manga, probably is. But it's a bit more similar in the in other sense because, as you know, if you have watched One Piece, there is Luffy, the protagonist, who wants to become the Pirate King. And Dark Lover is about magic and wizards. Now guess what? What the protagonist of the Dark King wants to become in the future? Not pirate wizard, or not wizard pirate, but wizard king. <laughs> so almost like, uh, like a kind of counterpart of One Piece uh, goal in a wizard uh, setting, in a magic setting. That's a bit... Uh, kind of tried and known formula. In fact, you know, anime have some similarities in between uh, all the time and it's right from the get-go, like the protagonist saying that, hey, I want to become a uh, wizard king is uh, really... Um, and he appears as a big character uh, and I think he's uh, yes, having some uh, hidden or secret powers, which is again a theme with uh, many anime. Unlike One Piece, however, uh, in One Piece, uh, Luffy wasn't weak at the beginning. He already had uh, quite a bit of fighting power. And there's a time skip, as you know, uh, after several years of uh, running the anime, actually after a decade of running the anime almost, uh, but until that time skip, until the latest episodes of that time skip, Luffy was quite strong and then stronger enemies came. Whereas in this case, we are back to the very traditional uh, weak looking or weak character um, having the potential to grow stronger, which is, which is okay. This is always something that brings uh, motivation to watch as the character grows, as the character grows stronger, grows in as a personality as well, and grows on you as well. So this is not a uh, bad thing, this is very common, but uh, the execution of it is what matters in anime. I think I will be watching it now that I am uh, curious uh, how strong later that character gets. There is another character who is like a co-protagonist, but uh, I think um, he's like at the second place. There are, it starts with basically two guys or two kids, but I think the second one is the one, uh, he's the more uh, deep and silent one. Um, so yeah, uh, there are mysteries of course uh, about their heritage, about where the magic comes from. Uh, I, I kind of found it awkward, but also liked it because it's different. Uh, you know, I like to watch different things at some point. And there's something like a grimoire, so a book, basically a spell book, that just chooses their owner. It's in the 
first episode even. Uh, so yeah, there are a lot of things that require explanation. I assume, and there was already one at least uh, flashback. In fact, uh, yeah, the, the, the episode one starts even with something that happened in the past and then connects it to 15 years later. I'm not gonna spoil uh, much of uh, what's happening here, although you probably have watched it. Um, I think we will be seeing way more flashbacks. So I'm, I'm mostly curious about the action because that's, you know, that's what I like in the anime, uh, along with other elements. So I am positive about Dark Clover and um, uh, hope it gets more and more interesting. I hope it gets it, it will have uh, nice fight scenes. Uh, right now, the only uh, anime that has a really fight scene that I watch is One Piece. The other one, Boruto. Uh, I didn't even watch the last episode. Uh, it's just some filler after filler, I think. Uh, One Punch Man apparently ended. That's uh, that's a bummer uh, for the second season. And My Hero Academia is going to start towards the end of this year, I think. Uh, that had really good fight scenes. In fact, the narration of that anime for some reason was too fast for me. I wasn't really able to follow it, and I had to rewatch several segments. In terms of Dark Clover, it seems to be. Uh, so far average pace so it's not slow by any means but it's not as fast as uh, my hero academia where I cannot even follow the uh, the the dialogues and conversations so yeah I think it's a promising anime so these are my first impressions of the uh, Dark Clover anime